I'm going to go over connecting Smith AI to NoCRM IO. Smith AI is a virtual receptionist and live chat service for small and medium sized businesses. Our live receptionists answer calls on behalf of your business using custom instructions to forward callers, qualify and intake new leads, schedule appointments, and more. Connect Smith AI to your NoCRM IO account to have your call and chat data logged in your lead conversion platform. That way, you have all the information you need to follow up with your new leads when they come in through Smith AI. To get started, go to zapier.com and set up an account or log in if you already have one. Click Create a Zap to get started. Now you'll need an invitation in order to create a Zap with Smith AI. Email us at support at smith.ai and we will send you an invitation to Zapier. Today, I'm gonna to make a Zap with Smith AI chat connected to NoCRM IO. So I'll search for Smith AI chat since I've already been invited and then choose new chat as the trigger event. Click continue. Sign into your account and click continue. In order to find your data, you're going to need to go to your Smith AI chat account and connect Zapier. Again, you can do this through virtual receptionists by just emailing us at support at smith.ai and we will set up Zapier for your account. To do it in chat, go to app.smith.ai slash chat and sign into your account. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see a link to the integrations. Choose Zapier, capture this API token, and plug it into your Zapier account. Click test trigger. You'll need to have a recent call or chat in order to have data to work with. All test calls and chats are not charged, so go ahead and call your own number or use your chat widget to initiate a chat with the chat clients. And click continue. Once we have our trigger set up, we'll need to set up an action through NoCRMIO. Search for NoCRMIO and then choose create a lead for now. You'll need to connect your NoCRM account as well. In order to do that, go to your account, in this case it's smith-ai.nocrm.io slash admin slash API underscore keys and click create an API key. Then you'll copy it and plug it into Zapier. Don't worry, when you go to set this up, Zapier will tell you exactly what to do. Customize the information that you're gonna to wanna to come in with your new lead. So under title, I'm gonna put the guest's first name, a space, and then the guest's last name. In the description, I'm going to put the name again. I'll add their email address, their phone number, Because this is Smith AI chat, I'm gonna put the URL that the guest came in on as well. And then I'm going to add the transcript. If this is for virtual receptionists, you'll wanna add the call notes. You can choose to assign a user email, but you don't have to. And then under tags, I'm gonna put Smith AI chat, or I would put Smith AI receptionists, or simply Smith AI. This is so that when your lead is logged in NoCRMIO, you can track where it comes from. Feel free to put in the creation date as well, 
although Zapier will give it a time and date created of about the time the zap is triggered anyway. And click continue. Review the data and then test your zap. It looks like the test was successful, so I'm going to turn the sap on. Make sure you name it something that really makes sense. I'm going to name this Smith AI chat leads to no CRM IO. All right, now that this is set up, it's time to test it. In this case, I'm going to go to the site where I have chat set up and create a test chat. Now I have my chat widget set up as a chat bot, but if you have live chat, you'll be interacting with a real person here. You can simply tell them that you are testing out your zap. Okay, now that this is done, I'm gonna wait a few minutes until my, uh, and see if my zap information shows up, my chat information sh shows up in my NoCRM IO account. So it's been a few minutes now. It will take a couple of minutes for Zapier to gather that information and push it into your NoCRM IO account. So please be patient when you're testing this out. Here's my new lead that came in through the zap. The title is up here. Feel free to adjust your zap if you want the title to say something else. You can now attribute an amount and probability to it. We have the name, email address, phone number, URL, and the transcript in the details here. And it's tagged Smith AI chat over here. From here, take any action that you want to follow up with a lead, or if you have them scheduled on your calendar already because Smith AI receptionist scheduled them for you, just use this information to have the conversation with them at the scheduled time. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Feel free to give us an email at support at smith.ai if you need any help getting this or anything else set up.